joins us now live from Ramsey County Medical Center with more on this one man's heroic efforts in today's blast. Mike? Brad, I'm here at St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center because that man, Ali Artoli, is a patient here. Now, chances are he wouldn't be hospitalized at all, except that he jeopardized his own safety to help his neighbors. Ali Artoli has always been a popular figure in the Dayton's Bluff neighborhood. He's a 30-year-old native of Sudan, and he ran a food market on the left-hand side of your screen. But a half hour before today's explosion, Artoli smelled gas. He didn't run away. He ran upstairs to warn the tenants in the eight apartments above his store. Some of them got out, and some of them um, uh, were on their way out when the explosion happened. One person on her way out during the explosion was Donna Guthrie. She later died at St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center. Artoli can't be interviewed because he's there himself, burned over 30% of his body. For you to really understand Ali's heroism, consider this was his block before the explosion. Here's the block after the explosion. You can even see the blue awnings on top of the bus shelter. If Artoli hadn't warned his neighbors, the death toll could have been far worse. His family talked to him at St. Paul Ramsey. He hasn't changed. He was more concerned about the, the people in the building because he was asking if you know, they were there or, or injured.